taxes have existed from time immemorial, as I've said before. Every Christmas we hear, we hear the, the scripture read that they went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. That's part of the Christmas story. But in imposing the tax, we had to look to see where the waste was being generated. You may find waste on barren lands, but the waste is not generated by barren lands. It is carried there. Waste is generated from households. And therefore, what we say, we would limit the imposition of the tax to areas of land where there were houses. Now, when you get your land tax bill, it has on two values. The value of your land by itself, which is called the site value, and the value of your land and the house together, which is called the improved value. We were advised after a fairly comprehensive consultation that the tax should not be imposed on the improved value because the improved value is obviously much higher than the site value. When you put a building on land, the, the value of the whole piece of land goes up. We said we would impose the tax on the site value. And that we would tax at the rate of 0.07% of the site value. To say that people don't know what it is about, I don't know is the whole truth. Because when the Minister of Finance introduced the tax, he explained it. He explained it down to even explaining the meaning of the expression municipal solid waste. Because when the tax was announced, people wanted to know where the word municipal came from, that we don't have any municipalities and so on. Oblivious to the fact that municipal solid waste is really a term of art in, 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 in the area dealing with, with solid waste. He explained all of that. He explained the incidence of the tax. And you know, until the moment came when people got their bills, there was calm in Barbados. The moment you get the bill, you, know, you hear that people didn't know what it was about and um, how it's unfair and all that. I don't know of any tax that is fair because people wish they didn't have to pay any taxes at all. I certainly wish they didn't have to pay any. But I know that that's how governments carry out their educational and health and transport and other programs in a society. When we have seen how the tax is operating, if the stage is reached where we think there needs to be a modification in its application, we'll do that. That's what governments have done in the past. Um, in fact, I have in my possession at the moment, I'm studying at the moment, a set of recommendations uh, from the experts at the International Monetary Fund whom we asked to do a review of our tax system on the whole. Because from time to time, you have to revisit your tax system to see if it is achieving the objectives you want it to achieve. And a very cursory reading of that report basically shows that there are quite a few things we have to do with our tax system at the moment to make it more efficient. In fact, one of the questions that we have been asked, and this is not this government, that Barbados has been asked, why are you imposing taxes on people if you're going to take the tax with one hand and give them back with the other in all these allowances. If you're imposing a tax, impose the tax and get the revenue to do the things you want. But if you're going to impose the tax and then 
this allowance and that exemption and that zero rating and so on, you are defeating the purpose of imposing the tax in the first place. And I know that after the 1991 challenges, then Prime Minister Sin Sani, Prime Minister of Finance, had stripped the tax system of that whole miscellany of allowances that really made the tax effort a waste of time. But over, the, over time, we get back into our bad habits and some of the same problems that you solved over 20 years ago, you have to start solving again. And we are at that point again. I don't want Barbadians to be too agitated about the municipal solid waste tax. Um, if it is thought that the tax is wreaking hardship not contemplated by the government at the moment of its imposition, the government, after we have seen how it has been operating, will revisit it. This has happened with all the taxes that any government has ever introduced. You, you impose the tax and then you see how it works, whether you have to revisit it to fine-tune it, uh, as the case may be. So, so I don't think there's any need for the agitation at the moment and for the, for the disquiet because the tax has been imposed. We have to see how it works. The Minister of Finance has powers under the legislation and the former Prime Minister has been wise enough to highlight this where he can exercise discretion, where hardships are most evident. And that happens with the land tax. There are people who, if, the land tax, if their land tax obligations uh, are thought to be imposing on due hardship on them, apply for relief and they get it. That will happen with the municipal solid waste tax as well. And um, we will see how it goes. But, and I, I believe last Sunday evening I saw the Commission of Land Tax and one other on, on um, people's business explaining the tax, explaining how it works explaining why it was imposed in the way in which it was imposed. And from what little of that program I saw, I thought they did a very good job. I am informed that the Minister of Finance and the head of the Barbados Revenue Authority are going to be on some program this weekend to further explain the tax and to, to deal with a whole set of other revenue issues. And I'm sure that with the passage of time, We'll all understand all this better, and we will be one happy family again. Okay.